The U.S. House Ways and Means Committee held a hearing on Thursday, November 14th, entitled Caring for Aging Americans. The United States Government Accountability Office issues a report on abuse and reporting and unusual visitors delight nursing home residents. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. This is Wednesday, November 20th. I'm Lisa Sweet in for Dane Henning, who is on assignment. A federal hearing was held last Thursday that featured calls for increased oversight of nursing homes to ensure quality standards are being met. Among the witnesses invited to speak, were representatives from hospice and palliative care, a long-term care consumer advocacy group, and Alzheimer's disease organizations, a caregiver, and also a physician. Topics discussed ranged from caregivers and families' well-being to hospice, Alzheimer's, and dementia, coverage for long-term health care services, and the quality of nursing home care. This hearing prompted interest in another federal study on the use of antipsychotic medications on residents. Witness transcripts are available on the House Ways and Means Committee website. Also happening last Thursday, November 14th, the United States Government Accountability Office issued a report titled, Better Oversight Needed to protect residents from abuse. The GAO states that while nursing home abuse is relatively rare, their June 2019 report shows that abuse deficiencies cited in nursing homes are becoming more frequent with the largest increase in severe cases. The GAO reports that there are often gaps in the process of abuse reporting to law enforcement and that often information submitted to state agencies is not complete. The GAO recommends CMS have more complete and readily available information on abuse to improve its oversight of nursing homes and that CMS requires state survey agencies to immediately report incidents to law enforcement if they have a reasonable suspicion that a crime against a resident has occurred. Residents of a Southern Iowa nursing home got a special visit from a 2,000 pound bull named Ole and his handler, Jason Dean. Residents of Southern Hills Specialty Care in Osceola, Iowa were delighted and memories are sparked with the special visit from this gentle rodeo bull. Meanwhile, in Stockdale, Texas, a 300-pound certified therapy llama named Tick is making his rounds. His owner, Zoe Rutledge, states three of their herd have passed the qualifying exam necessary to become registered therapy llamas, a test that involves being touched by strangers and remaining impassive when people nearby start arguing. The patients of Stockdale Residence and Rehabilitation Center enjoy these visits very much. And that's no bull. Everyone, have a great week. Dane will return next Wednesday.